The second stage of their life is the stage of being a shab from 15 to 35. This is the greatest part of your life. It is this part of your life where the jihad on nafs, the jihad against the soul, and al hawa against al hawa, the desire, and against the shaitan, it is in these years where all of this is, takes place. From 15 to 35. This is because in this period of time, there are certain things which happen to as, as you become a man, and there is the strength of, of desire, the shahwa, and the hawa, and the temptations. It's also a time in which you, as soon as you've reached the age of discernment, that you seek knowledge and seek understanding. So there are many things which are taking place in this phase of your life. Removing ignorance from yourself. Resisting the temptations that come to you from different angles, from society, from you know, whatever you are exposed to. So this is the greatest moment in your life. If you are in this stage right now, between 15 to 35, whatever you do in this stage will make your life easier. As you move into the third stage, and the fourth stage, and the fifth stage, your life will become easier depending on the jihad that you make in this stage against your nafs, against your hawa, against shaitan. Everything will become easy. And so, Sheikh Ibn al Jawzi. He says that a person who is alert and aware in this stage, then he will become near to Allah Azawajal. And the person who is neglectful in this stage, then he will suffer a great and mighty loss. And in this phase, when a person has sabr, when he has patience, like for example the patience of Yusuf as Siddiq, then if he has patience in this stage, then he will go on to reach a great station. He mentions the hadith. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, Ajiba Rabbuk min shabin laysat lahu sabwa. That indeed your Lord is amazed at the youth. Laysat lahu sabwa. What this means, the scholars explain, is that this youth is he is preoccupied in innocence and righteousness and obedience to Allah. Azawajal. And he's not tempted by those things. He does not, not turn towards those things like the shahwat, the desires, and the things which misguide other people. He remains innocent. He remains pure. He keeps himself chaste. He is obedient to Allah Azawajal. And so he maintains that innocence in his youth. This type of person, Allah Azawajal, is amazed. He has ajab towards the like of this youth who spends his youth upon this innocent, pure, chaste, obedient way. So this then is the second phase of your life. It is the phase which is the greatest phase, the greatest part of your life.